I'm here. Hi, ladies. It's Ben. Don't even tell me. Don't even tell me we're going to have internet problems. Nope, we're not. I'm going to pray to the internet gods. Hi, ladies. It's Beth, and it's time for Tipsy Tuesday. How are you? I'm sweating. <laughs> Been running around compiling 11 of my most wearable fall trends for fall 2021. Some of these things you might already have from last year. Last year's fall kind of didn't really happen, right? So if you shopped last fall, most of the things you bought are probably still going to work, okay? But if you didn't, or if you're interested in fall trends and want to pick and choose what works for you, I'm going to go through 11 of them. And I have a pile of stuff on my dining room table here. This is very low tech. If you follow high tech YouTubers with pictures popping in, that's not me. One of these days I might learn how to do that. But in the meantime, it's just me live, uncensored, unfiltered right here. So thank you for joining. Um, it is a summer day. I almost decided to do this outside at the pool just to prove that it is still summer, but I was afraid the internet wouldn't work and how am I going to get all that stuff out there? But trust me, it is still summer. So you do not need to worry about fall yet, but it's still fun to talk about because fall is sort of the Super Bowl of, of dressing, right? It's, it's my favorite season. It's not my favorite season. My favorite season for clothes, for sure. Summer's still my favorite, but I love fall clothes. Um, but I'm trying not to rush the season. This is giving you just a little preview, okay? And I did, did link ahead of time everything I'm gonna talk about for those of you who are interested in shopping. Um, and you know, I can't guarantee stock, everything had stock at the time I posted. But without further ado, hi Debbie, I'm going to start, okay? First fall trend was here last year as well, and that is menswear inspired. So you're gonna see a lot of like button downs and blazers, like maybe plaid blazers or boyfriend blazers um, and sweater vests. I know you're like, sweater vests, huh? Well, I was kind of like that at first until I saw, of all places on Abercrombie's site, this outfit with this sweater vest and a oversized white button down that I actually got in a different color that I'm gonna show you. But theirs is an oversized like cotton white button down. I already have my beloved peach, um, both the, the long Tortuga button down and the trailblazer. But just, they're exactly the same. This one's the traditional length and the Tortuga, which is actually on sale plus an additional 30% off this week, is a longer one. But they showed this cream vest layered over and over a, a white button down and then she had on a pair of loose fitting khaki pants and it was such a great picture i'll I, i'm linking the um the vest if you go to the vest link you can see the picture i tried the pants and they were ridiculous they were so big they looked silly on me i i kind of like them so i might try them in a size smaller but you don't need to, you don't need that to me that's a lot of oversized they were very oversized pleated you know wide leg pants with the oversized vest and the oversized shirt. Like if you're not six feet tall, that's a lot of oversized. So I would pair this with like my peach ponty skinny leg jean, uh, pants, black pants, uh, like a, you know, a thin straight leg jean or pant with this oversized look. And then, you know, maybe add some feminine touches with your jewelry, because this is kind of masculine looking, but I think it's cool, very Diane Keaton-esque, right? Don't you think? Anyway, so that's the first. Oh, but there's more to menswear. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna throw this stuff. I'm gonna throw it on the floor. <laughs> menswear. I have a blazer to show you what I was talking about for menswear styling blazers. This I picked up at Target maybe two years ago, and I bet they'll have one back. And as soon as I find one, I will link it because it's still very much in style. A bunch of us in my in one of my groups. Maybe it was last fall or the fall before. Got this. Yes, Annie Hall, Mary, exactly. This is a, a, you know, great menswear styling jacket that you could wear to work, all, you know, corporate-like, or you could wear it with jeans like I would, and some taupe booties that I'm gonna talk about later. But menswear, okay? And as far as shoes go, I saw these. Some of you are gonna hate them, some of you are gonna love them. Saw these on our favorite, one of our favorite YouTubers, at least mine, Dominique Sache. Don't know how to say her name, but you know who she is. She's from Houston, she's on TV, she's on the local TV station, Anchor. Anyway, she, she showed these in a, in a video a month or two ago with a pair of jeans and probably maybe a blazer, I don't know what she was wearing them with, but 
They are like a menswear inspired lug sole, which is probably the top, this is the top trend for shoes, this lug sole. Love it or hate it, it's here. Um, and these are cool. I got, I picked these up at the Nordstrom sale, but they're still available. They are Franco Sardo and they're pretty comfortable too. They are comfortable. Um, and you know, I like the patent. I think that kind of gives a little bit of femininity to a very masculine shoe. So that's a, an example of a menswear shoe. I probably wouldn't combine all the menswear into one outfit unless I was really wanting to, but chances are I would mix a little bit of more feminine with, um, with all the menswear. But that's the first trend. Thank you all for joining. For you, those of you who are joining, we're talking about my favorite wearable fall trends. And after we do this, you're all to put on like a sundress and a pair of flip-flops and go sit in the sun because it's not fall yet. This is just for fun, okay? <laughs> so we talked about menswear. Number two, I'm mixing this up, it's some colors and some items, is lavender, shades of purple and lavender. You gotta find the right shade for you. Um, for me, based on what the color guru taught me, I saw this at the, on the Amber Karami site when I found the vest. This is an oversized button down in this great lavender, which I don't have anything like this. I have button down, I have a blue button down and I obviously have my white peach button downs, but. Um, and I have a blue and white stripe, but this is my first like colored button down since I was in high school and wore one, you know, or actually in eighth grade, I wore one as part of a Catholic school uniform, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, um, it's, it's, it's a poplin, I think. So it's not Oxford cloth like I used to wear, but it's, it's a nice, you know, it's, it, I, this I've not ironed or steamed or anything, and I would probably wear it as is. It is, it is oversized, so I would definitely tuck it, half tuck it, tie it, um, layer it, that kind of thing. But lavender, shades of lavender in sweaters, tees, or, or you might wear a bold or purple. That's, if you like, if you like purple, this is your season because it's very, very hot right now. Blazers, you see, you'll see lavender and purple blazers. Um, I actually have two colors to talk about. The other one I've told you about that I don't think is really a trend. To me, blush has become just another neutral, um, but it's good and it's, it's great on a lot of different colorings. And this is a great top that I just got from my ladies at Peach that I love. I forget the name of it, but I linked it. And it, it also comes in cloud, which is like an off-white, but it's sort of a performance fabric, but it, I would wear it like as a sweater, like as a top, you know, kind of dress. It'd be great for travel because it doesn't wrinkle um, and it's got a low back. It's, it's regular bra friendly, but that, that has not that neat detail. It's got like a double hem, a double, finishing here, two layer finishing here. Um, just beautiful details. I love the details of this sweater. Um, you can wear it out, you can wear it half tuck. It's not too long, but it's not too short. It's just right. Um, I wore this the other day with a pair of jean shorts actually. Um, so, but this is, a, this is sort of a little more of a, um, of a bolder blush, I would say. It's kind of a rose, but it's still that shade of pink that's very, very popular. And then I wanted to show you my two that I've had. This one I've had for years, but it's still available blush cardigan, especially for you warm weather ladies. This is a great long cardigan, comes in petite and regular, and it's called, I think, Pink Smoke, but it's a very subtle blush that is just a great neutral. It's almost gray, but it's not, it's blush. Um, and again, it's that lightweight, I think it's got, it's got, the, name, it's got the word linen in the um, description, but um, I wear this probably two to three seasons where I live in New England. But for you people down south or in warmer temperatures, you'd wear it a lot more. Because I do live in New England and it's freezing and because I love blush, I did pick this up at Nordstrom. This is a more traditional like warm cozy cardigan. Um, I believe it also comes in, it's Caslin. So it, it probably comes in petite as well. I did size down to an extra small in this. I'm normally a small or extra small, but it has pockets. It comes in a bunch of different colors. But blush is a color you're going to be seeing a lot of, again, and I'm all for the blush. The next trend is funny. I heard this from a blogger and I thought, wow, interesting. It's Bridgerton inspired fashion. Tell me in the comments if you have watched Bridgerton. And I, she, she this woman, I forget which blogger it was, said that it is the, um, the, the most watched Netflix series of all time. Now, I tried it back when it was really hot. It was probably during COVID that it was really popular. and Everyone was talking about it. So I was like, you know, I like me a good Netflix series. So I turned it on. And after about 10 minutes, like 
my eyes, like it just, I found it just gratingly annoying. Like I think maybe it's one of those shows you have to hang in there with, but I really didn't like it. Like, and, and, and I, I know it's got a lot of sex in it and I have no problem with that. That's not what I didn't, but it just, it just seemed very kind of cartoonish or like exaggeratedly dramatic. I don't know. I, it just wasn't for me, but I, I'm willing, if you're going to tell me it's great, I'm willing to give it another try. But anyway, um, the fashions that it has, you know, that have stemmed from this show, you've seen already a lot of like the lace, the dresses, like the, you know, la flouncy, lacy, I'm not a huge fan personally. I love it on others. It doesn't, I put it on and I'm just kind of like, it's not me. It doesn't really go with my three style words that I've talked about, which are modern, polished, and fun. Um, it's definitely a fun look. Um, I don't know if it's very polished. It's probably modern because it's very in style, but it's just, it's just not me. But I love it on other people. Love it on other people. But what I do have that I think falls into the same category as Bridgerton inspired is lace. And I have had this, a lot of you have this or know about it. It's from Amazon. I linked it. It's this lace top that is very wearable. Um, and I wear it all the time. And I wash and wear it. And I don't iron it. Probably should, but I don't. <laughs> um, a lot of people have had a lot of luck with this, this top. And it's lace. So we're calling this Bridgerton inspired from now on. I had no idea that it was, but now I do. Um, couldn't finish the season too much for me too. So maybe, maybe it's, I think, I think not that we're, we're not young, but I think a lot of like the 30 year old women, maybe, maybe that's who liked it. I don't know. Let me know. A lot of people loved it. I'm willing to give it another try. A lot of those shows you have to give time. Like here's a tip, Offspring. If you haven't seen Offspring, the first couple episodes I was like, oh, this is silly. I don't know. <laughs> Became probably my favorite show of all time. And my husband even liked it. It's kind of a chick show, but it really isn't. He loved it too. If you haven't seen Offspring with Nina and Patrick, and you got, I mean, it's the best. I, I was depressed. We were both depressed when it ended. And it's a big time commitment. It's like seven seasons. Worth, worth your time though. Anyway, I digress. Next thing is fun. And it is the button cardigan. Long cardigans, like I showed you, I think are always, they're, they're not even, a, they're not a trend. They're just always around. I, someone, someone who's very, you know, on fashionista might say that they're, that they're not in style, but go on Nordstrom and they're selling millions of them. So I, I think they are. And they just look great on so many people. And, and, they, and you get them in a petite. If you're very petite, you're going to want to get, get it in a petite. But the other cardigan style that is, and it became hot last year, again, fall, when nobody was leaving the house, was buttoned cardigans. I unbuttoned this one, but this one is from Gap. I linked it. It's not available in this oatmeal color, unfortunately. It's sold out. Maybe it'll be back. They have a shorter one. If you're if you're short waisted, the shorter one might work for you. Um, and I think I linked that as well. But this style of cardigan is very on trend. There's a very there's a fabulous, very high end designer, um, Jenny Kane. Has a has, has probably a cashmere version of this. It looks very similar in her ads, and every time I see the ad, I think, oh, I love that cardigan, and it's like three hundred dollars. But I found this, and it has a similar look. You know, it's probably not nearly as good, but it's a very similar look with a Gap price tag. And I think Gap has a ridiculous sale going on right now, as always. Never pay full price at Gap, unless it's like something that that's you know going to sell out, but which this did. So maybe you should, if, if you love it, buy it. All right. Um, I feel like it's gonna storm again. Wow, surprising. Rains every day, every day this summer. Okay, button cardigan. Next is something a lot of you are gonna hate. I, um, I'm gonna take my sweater off to show you this. This is another trend that, that started last year that I think never really took off because like I said, we weren't leaving the house, but it's the shacket. Does anyone have a shacket? I got one last year and returned it because I realized I would never be wearing it, but I have two to show you. Um, this one, they're both in like the $30 range. This was from the Nordstrom sale, but it's still available. And I think it's still at the sale price. It's like $30. I did get this in an extra small. I also got the button cardigan in an extra small. Those These oversized kind of pieces, I size down on personally. Oh, this is gonna feel great on a day like today, but actually it kind of does. This is what a shacket is. It's a shirt, it's a jacket, it's a shacket. So this is something that I actually love that I would wear, you know, instead of a, instead of a jacket, you know, um, on a fall day or on a winter day, it hits me. Um, 
high, a little higher than mid thigh on me. It's, it's, it reminds me of those old like chamois shirts from high school. It's really cozy. Um, and I like the shade of blue. It also comes in a pretty tan and some plaids, which is sort of the traditional shacket look. Um, it has pockets, it has pockets. And I just like it. I just, and it's very, this is very on trend. I would probably, you know, you could roll the sleeves. You don't even need to, it's cold. Anyway, that's a shacket. Anyone have a shacket? They've been around. They, like I said, they've been around. But I think they're gonna take off more this year. Here's, a, here's an Amazon version that a blogger posted um, that I wouldn't keep this one because it's too similar, but it also came in a, in a, in a oatmeal color similar to this. And I kind of thought that was cool. And she showed it in camel. So if you have warm skin coloring, the camel looks really cool. I can't wear camel, I learned. Um, but this is another one, and this is Amazon. It's actually the same price as the Nordstrom one, though, ironically. This is Corduroy, another blast from the past. Um, and it does not have pockets. It feels a little bit more shirt-like than jacket. In the Amazon picture, I'll warn you, she must be wearing like a triple XL, the, the little model, because it's huge on her. This is a small, and it's big, but it's not huge. And Cindy, the blogger who I follow, who was wearing it in camel, tied it like so. And you'd roll the sleeves. And, and this is kind of cute. This is more of a shirt jacket. Whereas the first one I showed you, I would say is more of a jacket jacket. So take your pick. This is definitely gonna be warmer. This I probably wouldn't wear inside. Would I? If it was freezing. This I would definitely wear as a shirt. So the more I talk about it, the more I think this might be more versatile. If, and this also comes in a bazillion, bazillion colors, whereas the, the Nordstrom one comes in maybe four. Um, but it's a fun trend. Love it or hate it. If you don't like it, definitely don't get it just because it's a trend and just because I'm talking about it. It's one of those things, you know? If you don't love it, don't buy it. If you do love it, find one that works for you. Next, how are we doing there, ladies? Hi, everyone watching. Kim and Kim and Mickey and Gina. Hi, Gina. Gina, Jenna, Gina. My eyes are not very good, as you know. Okay, now we're on to your favorite topic. I made quite a mess here. Jeans. Okay, this is a big one. I've talked ad nauseum for the past, it's probably been a year now about, well, no, maybe it's been six months. I forget when that whole TikTok controversy happened. I remember where I was. I was at Jamie's house when, when it was, everyone was talking about the, the TikTok girl saying how you, you can tell when someone's old if she's wearing skinny jeans and has a side part and uses the laughing crying emoji, which were three things that I do a lot. Um, but she said that's, you know, then it means you're old and, and you can't be cool and blah, 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 whatever. Um, the thing with skinny jeans though is, I'm not saying she was right, but I am saying that, I'm saying that they are not a trend, they are a classic. So you will all, I, I'm convinced you will always see skinny jeans, I think. Maybe less so now, but I'm not telling you to go out and get rid of all your skinny jeans. But I am saying if you're buying new jeans this season and you already have skinny jeans, you don't need to, I wouldn't recommend investing in a, in a new pair of skinny jeans. And I'm not saying, to go out and buy, you know, that you have to go out and buy, you know, really wide leg or really loose fitting or mom jeans or maybe they have dad jeans now. I don't know. You don't need to buy anything crazy. But if you if you need new jeans and you like your skinnies, look for a straight leg, slim fitting jean. Um, and I know I just put a bunch in my fall style system uh, catalog for people who have joined that. Um, but th they're everywhere. Find the, find the cut you like, whether it's Wit and Wisdom or Levi's or um, Not Your Daughter's Jeans, NYDJ. Um, find, but look for a straight leg, slim fit um, that you can then, you could cuff if, if you want to wear them casually. You could cuff them and wear them, show your ankle and wear them with sneakers or flats um, for a more casual look. And then you've almost created a, a girlfriend, boyfriend jean with your straight legs, right? So that's versatility. But I, I have straight leg jeans that I love. Um, I actually have two pairs. I have a pair of Levi's, those wedgie jeans that I've finally gotten used to. And then I have a pair of the democracy jeans that everyone in, I think, 
two seasons ago in my private group. Everyone got them and loved them. I've, I'm sure I've linked them. You, you probably know which ones I'm talking about, the democracy straight leg. But if I didn't, I didn't link them here, I will add them. Those have been a heavy hitter for a lot of body types. People love them. Um, but I have three different pairs that I'm deciding between. And the problem is I kind of like them all. Um, that's my problem. I'm going to start with the one that I kind of like the most. These were from The Gap. They are the mid-rise, on my, on my links above or below, the mid-rise loose fit straight leg. I think they call them 90s style, which, you know, the 90s were fun. Anyway, these are a more casual jean. You're also going to see a lot more light, lighter wash. You're not going to see a lot of distressing. I know people are going to be very happy about that. If you do see distressing, it will be minimal, and, I, and I'm all for that. But you're not going to see the shredded pants. I think those have gone away at least among our crowd. Um, these actually have a little bit of distressing. These are just like, like, and they have some distressing there. Other than that, there's none. These are just like, I mean, if you had your pair of jeans in the 80s and 90s that you wore all the time, mine were Levi's, I think, yeah. These are them. They are really good. They're soft. They are, on me, they are, they are a straight leg. They are a kind of a, a wide straight leg. They're, they're not a slim straight leg. So they are loose fitting. They're incredibly comfortable. They are not a super high waist. That's another reason I personally like them. They are more of a mid rise. Check, I forget, I don't, know the, I don't know the rise number. It's probably about a 10 if I had to guess at the most. But, but check the description. Maybe it says. For me, they're, they're just right. Um, it doesn't say the rise. The, I have them in a, in a size four, a 27 size four, and they're a nice loose fit. Um, so don't size up. Don't size up on these. Go, you're true to size, and they will have a loose fit most likely, depending on you. But I, I did try them um, cuffed, believe it or not, and I thought that wouldn't work because they are kind of wide at the bottom, but it kind of did. So, I, you know, there's that too. I will post pictures. I took a bunch of pictures and I'll post pictures of all three of these jeans as well, but the links are below. So here you've got a loose fitting, straight-ish leg, but it's crossed between a slim fitting straight leg and a wide leg jean, casual, but you could definitely dress, you know, jeans you can wear any way you want. They actually look really cool with that blazer I just threw on the floor. Anyway, which are next? The next jeans are you're gonna love are Wit and Wisdom. These I, I saw at Nordstrom Rack and grabbed them because they're Wit and Wisdom, and I love Wit and Wisdom, and a lot of you love Wit and Wisdom. Wit and Wisdom is famous for having this stretchy waistband. Makes them feel like yoga pants or, or like leggings without being tight. These are, these are interesting. These are Curve Equality, minor size four. They were $45 at, um, at Nordstrom Rack. Ab, they have the ab technology, which is that stretchy thing, I just, waistband I showed you. Uh, they mold and hold. They do feel very comfortable. Like they definitely feel like they're holding you in and they are a high rise flare featuring slimming panels constructed to mold and hold. So these, they call them high rise. I'm very sensitive to high, to really high rise and I don't love them. These did not feel too high risey to me. You gotta try them though. They, but, but the thing with these is they are a wide leg. See, they are a wide leg. They are not a boot cut. Um, you know, a boot cut would be kind of narrow, narrow, and then just sort of get a little wide at the bottom. These are more of a wide leg. So you gotta like that. I do. And you know how the lug boots are very popular and lug shoes? They look really cool with a wide leg jean. Um, what we're used to, or at least what I'm used to with very wide leg or flare is for them to be really long. I remember back in the day saying, you know, they should hit the floor, they should hit the ground. That's not the case anymore. These, I'll show you again, I'll post pictures. These hit me below my ankle, but a good inch or uh, inch and a half above the ground, maybe two inches above the ground. So it's, um, they are very 70s looking. Um, and they're very on trend. And I might have to keep them, even though the next pair I show you is, gonna, is kind of similar. Because the next pair 
is another gap. But you notice how none of these are that really, really dark wash. They're, this is the lightest. The first one I showed you is the lightest wash, which I personally love. Um, I just do, I love light wash, but these are more of a, what I would call a mid wash. They're very similar. I, this season, don't see myself wearing anything, any denim, blue denim, darker than this. Not to say that you can't, because there's nothing, I mean, especially if you're, if you're wearing your denim very dressed up, a very dark wash, you know, skinny or straight leg or flare jean, full length is a very dressy, and I always say it's an essential. I feel like we all need that dark wash. But as far as trends go, this more of a medium wash is what you're gonna see more of. So I showed you the Witten Wisdom, right? That's these with the Ab Solution technology. These are, oh no, these are not Gap. These are Banana Republic, which is also a size 27. They are called, you can just look at my link. They are a high rise, wide leg, Crop. So they're sort of like the first, the second pair I showed you, the Wit and Wisdom, but they are, they call them high rise. Again, the, the rise didn't bother me. Ultra high rise bothers me. <laughs> These are probably right about here, but they are a, a wide leg crop, but the, the width of the leg is not nearly as wide as the, as the um, Wit and Wisdom ones. And what I like about these is, and again, it's hard to, see without putting them on but i'll post a picture is they kind of are straight they kind of they don't they're not like this the other the other ones have more of a wide 70s vibe this has more of a straight but wider leg but it goes down it's a little straighter um and very and very comfortable and wearable and i really i didn't want to like these because i think i might have paid full price for them but i really do like them and they might even be on sale now um but they are cropped meaning they hit me um, they hit me in a good spot for a crop, which here's, we've talked, we've talked about this. The great spot for a crop is not at the widest part of your calf, right? That's what you want to avoid. And you'd have to be really tall for that to happen on these. But you want them to hit between your ankle bone and, and be, you know, below where your, um, where your calf widens. So you want it at that narrow part of your calf. And that's where these hit me. And yes, you can wear them with booties. I'll show you pictures. You can wear them with those lug sole booties. You can wear them with traditional booties. And it's okay if there's skin showing between the hem and the booty. If they're, if they're current cool booties, it's gonna look very on trend. And, what, and, and the picture that got me on these, she was showing them with a pair of cognac suede, taller shaft booties that went, let me see. Yeah, they would have gone under the, the, the leg and they looked really cool. And I have a pair of black suede, taller shaft. The shaft meaning this part, this is came up, comes up a little higher and more fitted with wide leg jeans like this. Very, very, it's also very leg lengthening, especially if the, if the booties are like a taupe or a neutral or even, even black, black would totally work too. Um, that's, how, that's how you can wear booties with your wide leg cropped jeans. And yes, you can wear them in the winter. You're not gonna freeze to death, especially if you're wearing a booty. I mean, you're not gonna go like snowshoeing in them, but you can wear them around and out in the winter, even though they're cropped. Yes, you can. Um, so those are my three pairs of jeans that I'm talking about. Next, do we have any questions? Does anyone have any questions? I don't see any questions. Um, oh boy, have I made a mess here. Next is florals. Ugh. So floral dresses and skirts and tops are very on trend, um, but the, the type of floral, it's the, for one thing they call them the ditzy, the ditzy florals, um, which are like the little tiny flowers versus big ones. Um, and it's also, especially in the fall, and I think almost all the time I prefer it, they're on a darker background. So a darker a, a floral um, in a dark, on a darker background with not a, with not a ton of colors. This is an example from the Gap. That um, I'm not sure, my mate, it's kind of a cute dress. I don't know if I need it though, but it's cute and it's it's a length that hits above my knee, but not much above my knee. I'm five eight, um, and it's just it's just a simple dress. Um, it's a nice cottony feeling fabric, substantial fabric. Um, 
and it comes with a self-tie belt. But what I want to tell you, I would whip that belt off and put a belt like this on that I forgot to link, but I will. If you're in the, if you're in the fall style system, you've seen it in the catalog. It is, it comes in a set, it's Amazon, it comes in a set of four, but um, it's just a stretchy belt that I would replace and put that on and completely change the look of the dress. And with this, especially in the fall, I would wear a dress like this or a skirt. Um, I, I linked a skirt that one of that BJ, one of our, my members found that's kind of similar, a very similar pattern. It's black with green, like a dark green, similar flower. And it's a skirt, an Amazon elastic waist pull on midi skirt, so longer, which is very on trend um, in the same kind of dark floral. Um, but I would wear this with booties, with bare legs and booties in the fall. I love that look. I would wear my, um, my favorites, my Mark Fisher's booties with these. Or if you're really cool, you could wear the lug sole booties, which I'm going to show you next. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure it, the, I'm going to be doing it. Right now, I'm just not so sure I can. I'd go with my regular booties, but the lug sole booties are huge. And you're going to see them with, with dresses and skirts, too. Um, so that's the floral. So on a dark background, navy, you could do dark gray, whatever your neutral is for a floral, that background, you want a dark background in that neutral. Um, yeah, that brings me to the boots, which I know you've all been waiting for. We have a discussion going on in the, in the Just Get Dress group about these lug sole booties because I was having such a hard time deciding which ones to keep. I have two pairs, I'm down to two pairs, and they're, they're, I'll show them to you. And I've made a decision. This morning I tried them on with some jeans that I showed you, and I think I've come up with a strategy. So some of you were waiting for this, so here you go. These are the two lug sole booties that I got. One is the Blondo, which Blondo is my favorite booty. This is a waterproof, weatherproof booty. I love Blondo, love the quality. They feel so good on my feet. So this is a the lug the lug sole booty. It it came in taupe as well, um, and I've I saw somebody somebody Sarah got them and they looked really cool. My but I I didn't get the blondo taupe. I got this taupe which I saw on I think JoLynn Shane and loved, and I was like oh you know normally I go for taupe you know I'm all about neutral shoe neutral shoe neutral shoe, so I was like black taupe black taupe what do I do I like them both and they're both comfortable they're both comparably priced in like the hundred dollar range. These I got on sale. I think they're back to 150. Um, BJ found combat versions of these on Poshmark. So you could try that. But anyway, I think, I think I'm going with the black and here's my reasoning. First of all, I live in new England and these are waterproof. These I, you know, I could wear out in the snow, the rain, you know, they're just, they're, they're going to double as a fashion boot and a practical versatile boot. That's very on trend. That's kind of how I look at that. Whereas this is just purely fashion. Um, and you know, if I wore these outside in the slush, this would be great, but I would get them ruined. Right? So, and if I was going to wear a taupe booty with like that dress or with a pair of jeans, I would wear these that I already own that I've had for going on two years, I think, that are pricey, but but they replaced my Blondos as my favorite neutral booty a year or two ago. They are Marc Jacobs and they are fabulous. I love them, I love them, I love them. And they're still in really good shape. Um, so that's my thing. I'm gonna, if I'm going to go with the black lug sole and not the taupe because I have these already and I would just find myself wearing these more often. Um, if I, if I were one to have a gazillion shoes and I, you know, went places more, I'd probably keep both because I do love these. So you pick, whoops, you pick or skip it all together. <laughs> it's up to you. Um, and I also, disclaimer, I do, I did buy these last year. These are the same exact booty as the taupe ones in black leather. Um, you know, if I could do it all over again, I probably would have these I don't know I do love these do I need these and the lug sole these are dressier and I do wear these a lot so and I own them I own them so if, if the lug sole thing is not for you 
boots like this are gonna be more wearable. And what you could do is skip the, the, um, skip the booty lug sole and get yourself a pair of loafers in the lug sole. And I'm sure places like Target are gonna, are gonna introduce really great knockoff versions of the lug sole. If you, if you wanna just get it, I mean, that's on trend and not spend a lot. Target does a really good job of knocking off trends in a very, you know, well done way. So there is the lug sole top, but I'm not done. Are you hanging in there with me? What's next? Oh, the next one is very random. Learned this from some smart YouTuber. And I, I grouped it all into one. It's multiple trends, but it's the Lux fabric matching sets and space travel trend. Yes, you heard it here first, or maybe you've already heard about this. I hadn't. For the, the one that I like is the Lux fabric, and I show you, I'm show you what I picked up. It does need to be steamed. This is a washable silk skirt. It is a midi skirt. Hits me kind of in that magic spot. I wish it was a smidge longer on most people would be longer. I'd probably scooch it down on my hips to make it a little bit longer. It's between my ankle and where my calf widens. But anyway, it's, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna wear it in my real life, but I just, I've, I've, these have been around and I've always, I think I've bought and returned one or two. This one, I just love. I love the color. It's sort of a champagne color. It comes in multiple colors. It is washable silk, which is pretty cool. Elastic waist. It's by a brand called Quince, which some of you who follow me know I love. It's a newish brand that does things like cashmere, silk, and, and um, leather goods, like premium, premium materials. And they cut out the middleman. They cut out, they do, go direct to consumer and their prices are great. This, was, this is a $59 skirt. They have easy free returns, 365 days a year. You can wait a whole year to return and they're very easy to, to deal with. So um, that is, that's, that's an example of like a luxe fabric. A lot of silks, satins. I think, I think a silk blouse is a great thing to have in your wardrobe. Um, it's just elevated beauty and it's timeless. I like a silk button down, especially if you don't like crisp button downs, get yourself a silk. They, Quince has them. Um, and I have another one that I can't think of the name of that I will post, but a silk blouse is, is great. And with this, I would probably, oh, here we go. Mailman, I would probably pair this with, um, in the picture, they have it with a cashmere turtleneck in like a blushy oatmeal color, and it looks great. Um, but I would probably wear this with a cashmere sweater and probably my taupe booties. Maybe my taupe booties or, do you see them with sneakers? My white sneakers for a casual look. That's very hip. White sneakers and this skirt and like a cozy cardigan or cashmere sweater or or not cashmere, whatever. I like this a lot. Nancy is asking, what socks do you wear under your Marc Jacobs booties? I don't have any socks on, but I'll tell you, it's, it's, it, it, they're the peach. The peach no-show socks are the only socks I own. Um, my kids even love them. They steal them and I steal them back. They just, they don't slip. They, I wear them all year round. I wear them with my sneakers, with my workout shoes, and with my booties. Um, so that's, and you know, in the dead of winter, you know, with snow on the ground, I might wear a chunkier sock. Um, but if it's dead of winter and I need a chunky sock, I'm probably wearing more of like a, a Blondo booty, like the, the, the lug sole booty with like a chunky marled sock. Um, so with the Marc Jacobs, I don't show socks with those. I just do not. I show bare leg and no socks or wear a longer bottom and just show the shoe. Those are not, I would say, a, a more casual booty like this. I just feel like the, the showing socks is only gonna work on a, it's a very casual look with a very casual booty. These to me are a little more dressy. You could show socks with these, probably. I'm gonna play with that on a really cold wintry day. For the most part, don't show your socks. Just get a pair of petty, you know, like just no show socks. People like Bonobos or Bo Bobos or Bobo, I forget. There's a couple, there's a lot of brands. I go for peach because I love my peach. Um, I don't think I'm done yet, ladies, with the Lux fabrics. The other thing that I love that Quince also has that I don't technically have is match the, the matching sets. And they show, you're going to see a lot of like, and I think this is a, this is a fall a carryover from COVID when we were wearing 
sweats all the time. And a lot of times, you know, those big, big bulky sweatpants became popular. Those are gone. So now it's just more luxe lounge outfits in like satin. Quince has satin lounge outfits, cashmere. They have a great pair of cashmere joggers and a cashmere hoodie or, or like a matching cashmere sweater. So that, you know, the matching look in cashmere or luxe fabrics is very on trend. Oh, it's Bombas. That's, thank, you, thank you, Debbie. People, I feel like I need to try them just to see what all the fuss is. People love their Bombas, Bombas, B-O-M-B-A-S socks. They're, they're an internet sensation. Thank you, Debbie. So luxe fabrics, um, it's cashmere, silk, matching sets. You'll see like skirts and sweater matching sets is fabulous. Okay, next is the funny one. It's the space travel look. I guess these like space suits, I think it was inspired by our friends, you know, Bezos and Branson going up into space. It's created a trend. And believe it or not, I think I'm ahead of the time because long before, or at least a year before those guys went up into space, I already had this vest that you too can have. Ah, I just dumped my water. This vest is, I'm gonna put a sweat, my sweater back on. It's reversible and it has foil on one side. I think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna show it to you because it is actually in the peach sale, an additional 30% off. I know a couple people have this. Suzanne, she's watching, has this, and it looks so cool on her. Anyway, it's, it's you could, what I, the way I normally wear it before this became a hot trend that I, you know, back before they went into space, I wore it mostly like this with just the silver showing, just a touch of silver. It is the best, most comfortable fabric. If you're a vest girl, and I know you're out there, this is a fabulous vest, and it's an additional 30% off with the peach sale that's going on this week. So anyway, but so there it is with just the foil peeking through, or you can wear in reverse with the silver and just be like the coolest. I would just wear this like probably with like all black and then throw this on, which will soften the black around your face and just be so cool. I'm so happy I got this when I did. I got this last year before space travel became popular. <laughs> anyway, it's, I think it's called the Aurora Vest and it's reversible, which makes it, you know, if, if you can go all in or just a little, a little peak of foil. Okay, ladies. Last but not least, I'm bringing in Dolly because this is another thing that I don't think of as a trend, but it's very popular this year. It's been popular and I think it's more of a classic now, kind of like leopard print, which ironically, I haven't shown you a single leopard print, which is probably the first time in a fall trends thing that I haven't talked about leopard print. Leopard print isn't out by any stretch. You're still gonna wear your leopard flats. You're still gonna wear your leopard belt, not together. Um, but I don't see a lot of just full on leopard. I, I did see a cute leopard midi skirt that if you love leopard, a midi skirt, kind of like the satin one, silk one I showed you, but in a leopard print, that's a great look. Um, but I'm not telling you, you to get rid of your leopard, never get rid of your leopard, but you're not going to be doing full on leopard as much. Um, at least that's what I'm finding. I could be wrong. But what you are gonna see a lot of that I put in the same category of leopard as leopard is camo. Camo is another neutral pattern that is always, always cool and on trend. It took me a while to come around to camo um, and now I'm, I'm in. I have quite a, I have three pieces I'm gonna show you. Um, now camo for me, I have a camo jacket that's more of an olive green that I need to, to sell or give away because olive green is just not great on me. I have, um, I have cool coloring. This one, again by Peach, brand new, is has a little more, um, it's kind of got both, so, but it doesn't read quite as olive -y to me. It's got a lot of this like taupey taupe color in it. Um, and it's just, I love the styling of it. It's called the Marshall Jacket. It also comes in this, my favorite color from the season, marine blue, um, it's solid. And it's just, it's this, you know, very on trend. This has been a trend in the fall for, for several years, the field jacket. But it's just got, you know, Peach does a great job with just adding some feminine detail. It's got the, the waist. You can cinch the waist to give it some shape if you don't want it to be boxy. Or if you want it to be boxy, you can uncinch the waist, depending on what you want. It's got great pockets for all kinds of things. Um, and it's just, it's cool. And it's camo. 
and it's cool. Camo is cool. Some people hate it, some people love it, but it is a neutral. Camo looks great with colors too. Of course it looks great with black and gray, but it looks great with pink. Like I love camo and fuchsia or camo and this rosy blush or a true blush. Um, <laughs> camo looks great with those colors as well. So it's not, you, you don't have to, you don't have to go in and, say, and look for a color in here and say, well, I need to buy a top that's this color or that color. It's a neutral. Wear it with your colors. Okay, I'm still struggling to light camo. I live in a town with a military. I remember you telling, it's not for everyone. I struggled with it for a while and I still only like it in small doses and in pieces like this and this. Two other pieces. This I just got. This is a, a, a company that just, they actually reached out to me to promote them and I'm, I'm gonna get a code from them. So if you want, want this, wait till I get the code. Um, isn't this so cute? And I love it because it's kind of got my be styled colors. It's a crossbody clutch. Like you can take the, this off and carry it as a clutch, or you can wear it as a crossbody. And it's just I I absolutely love it. I love the saddle. The saddle brown is very fallish and classically cool. Um, and I don't remember the price on it, but I remember thinking it was pretty affordable. It is, it's faux, you know, it's vegan leather, but I want to say it was 50 some dollars possibly, but isn't that cute? I think it looks, it looks very Stella and Dottish to me, but it's definitely less expensive than Stella and Dot, which I love too, but um, I will, I will um, get you a code for this baby and for their whole site. They have really cool stuff. So they're, and I like how that's just a little smidge of camo. My go-to bag that I've had for years now, thanks to Jamie, and she still has it, and I, I don't think I'll, I don't know how I'll find a bag that's full of all my stuff, is this camo, which if, if I'm just wearing it, it looks like I'm wearing a black bag, pretty much. Um, it is, it's camo, it's like a black camo. So it's just a subtle camo, it's nylon, so for people like me, if you are really rough on things, as I am, this is two years old, probably. It's as good as new. It's as good as new. It's holding all my stuff. Um, you know, I carry a decent sized wallet. It holds my wallet easily. It holds my sunglasses easily, which ladies, these are my, my big girl sunglasses I told you all about that I haven't lost yet. I keep them in the case all the time. Like I'm religious about not losing them. Aren't they great? They're so dirty though. Jamie helped me pick these out. Jamie and her sister from Wyckoff Eyes. If you're in Northern New Jersey, go to Wyckoff Eyes or Manhattan. Get your, they, they hooked me up with the, with Beth's shape and style sunglass, sunglasses. I haven't had, I hadn't had, you know, I call them big girl, like good sunglasses for years because I, I lose them. And I've discovered that by getting a good pair, I tell my kids this, I, and, and really being, because I care so much because they were expensive, I haven't lost them. And it's been, I might be six months now, which is a record for me. <sighs> I think I've come to the end. It does, Elena. It looks like the Citadel leggings print, which is, they are on, they are on sale. I think I ordered them. They, there's, two, there's a brand new camo in the fall peach collection, but there is a older camo which is more like this, um, that's, that they put in the sales section that's an additional 30% off. Thank you for reminding me of that. They, they read kind of black. So do the new ones. I have to put them side by side to see what the difference is. But the big difference right now is that the, the older ones are fabulous and they are now in say, on sale. They're not gonna, they're, they'll put them back to full price after this week. But they're a great, if you like camo, they're a great fall legging for working out or for wearing. You know, you're not gonna wear your camo jacket with it um, but you could wear you know a top like this or there's a the palmer hoodie from peach is in the same color and also comes in cloud but the palmer hoodie with the camo leggings with a pair of sneakers i mean that's a great look um do we have any other questions oh it's so good to see all of you debbie i can't do camo jackets here in dc because of the military folks wearing them as a uniform that's so true but i bought which that jacket in the blue and can't wait to wear it. I know, picture, I have it. 
I, I can't decide if I can justify keeping it. I it, picture this great color. Can you see this great color? Trust me when I tell you. And I, I looked it up. This is like a, this is a universally flattering. I'm going to ask the color guru for sure. If it is, um, to me, to my eye, I can't think of who couldn't wear this color. Tell me if you think you couldn't, like I think about if you have olive skin, this would look great. You know, I've seen it on blondes looking great on, you know, wintry black hair, light skin looking great. So anyway, it's called Marine Blue and picture this jacket in that, in this co color amazing um yeah anyway um speaking of the color guru just so you know next tuesday the 31st i'm going live on her instagram um and i'm, I'm not sure what time yet so it might interfere with tipsy tuesday but i'll let you know where that will be happening um but that will be fun i'm being interviewed by the color guru anyway um let's see if i have any other questions i don't see any questions what is TTS? Oh, true to size. Connect. TTS is true to size. Sorry. It's the lingo. It's the blogger lingo. You got to you gotta get with the program. <laughs> totally kidding. I can't believe that I would expect anyone to know that, what that is. But that's what it is. Um, definitely eyeing that vest. I know, Elena. It's very cool. Yeah. The other trend um, that's very in is the ski wear. Like Fair Isle sweaters. Um which I feel like that's always in, especially in the winter. I usually put that in my winter programs. Fair Isle, ski inspired, um, things like that. But the vest could kind of cross both, both from the from ski inspired because it's a vest and sporty sort of to the um, space. What I say, space travel inspired. <laughs> You're gonna, yeah, and I guess there's like you can buy like suits, space suits. I don't think you should, but if you wanted to, you could. Hi, everyone that's watching. Thank you all for joining. I think I answered all the questions. I don't think I see any questions. Um, the last thing I want to tell you is that if you were in my summer style system, or I'm now opening up to the spring style system people too, you can go to that those Facebook groups and I'm giving you early access to the fall style system that is launching shortly. Um, they're getting early access. It's launched to them. It's ready to go, but I'm, I'm holding off launching to everyone um, for another week or so. But um, if you're in either of those two programs, you can access it now and get the shopping catalog and get a head start if you need to shop or if you want to just compile your, your fall wardrobe using the checklist. You get a, you get a fall checklist. You get um, a shopping catalog and then you will get you get 21 days of outfit prompts, emails, an email every day starting in mid-September. For the you'll get it the night before, saying, "Okay, here's the outfit I prompt for the day," and I tell you how to adjust it based on your lifestyle, whether you're going to an office, you're staying at home, or anything in between. Um, I help you find things that work for your body, for your budget, and create these looks that are unique to you but they give you a starting point. So you're not just staring at your closet saying, you know, I have all these trends. I went and bought all these trends. Now, how the heck do I wear them? How do I put them into outfits? I do that for you. And we work as, you know, I give lots of, I give a lot of hand holding and a lot of, of consultation inside this group. And it's for three months, basically. And it's only $47, which is, you know, when I tell people in the business about that, they're like, Beth, you're, you're insane. Like, why are you doing that? But I, A, I enjoy it. B, you know, I can, I can talk to more people that way. And um, so far it's working. So I hope you'll join. I will be posting a link for everyone in the next week or so. And um, to everybody else, you'll know about it. Uh, and if you don't know about it, you can message me. Um, but you can check those Facebook groups that you're in from the, the membership, the paid programs, spring and summer. Okay, anyway, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Um, now, like I said, we're gonna whip off our fall clothes. We're gonna put, I'm wearing shorts. I have these, these great white, I should tell you, these great white running shorts. They come in yellow and tie-dye and navy blue. I live in these in the summertime when I don't feel like putting real pants on. And they are, they are marked down big time on the peach sale. So especially if you're a runner, um, which I'm not really, but I wear them to walk and they're just, they're just like everything peach does, they're just good. And they're very, very marked down right now. They're called the Katsu 
K-A-T-S-U, running short. They're in the sale section under shorts. There's some squirts too, if you're a squirt person. Anyway, everyone, have a great day. Thanks, Elena. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next week. Bye for now.